5 seconds to go. Start. Mr. K. M. Sina, Learned Senior Counsel, appearing for the appellant, submitted that this court has held that the beneficial provisions of the act are to be applied only for the purpose of interpretation of the act and not for arriving at a conclusion whether a person is juvenile or not and the question whether an offender was juvenile on the date of commission of the offence or not is essentially a question of fact which is required to be determined on the basis of the materials brought on record by the parties. He submitted that this court has further held that section 35 of the Evidence Act which provides that an entry in a register maintained in the ordinary course of business by a public servant in discharge of his official duty or by any other person in performance of a duty specially enjoined by the law of the country will only apply if the conditions mentioned in section 35 are fulfilled. He submitted that section 35 of the Evidence Act could not be applied to the entry of date of birth of respondent number 1 in the school records produced on behalf of respondent number 1 before the trial court and on the evidence as produced the trial court rightly held that the date of birth of the respondent number 1 cannot be believed to be 5th October 1988. He submitted that the trial court after scrutinizing the evidence has held that the evidence produced by respondent number 1 have been created for escaping conviction for a grave offence such as murder and was not believable and by physical appearance respondent number 1 looks to be over 18 years of age and on 11th July 2004 he was an adult and not a juvenile. He submitted then this finding of the trial court on a question of fact with regard to the age of respondent number 1 could not be disturbed by the high court in a revision. In support of this proposition, he relied on Sita Mani Rao versus State of UP 1986 4 SCC 447 in which this court has held that the High Court while exercising its jurisdiction under section 226 and 227 of the constitution should not interfere with a finding of fact of the inferior court or tribunal except where the finding was perverse and not based on any material evidence or has resulted in manifest injustice. He submitted that in this decision this court has further taken the view that if the trial court came to a conclusion which was possible on the evidence, the high court will not disturb the conclusion arrived at by the trial court merely because the high court is of the view 
that a different conclusion is also possible on the same evidence. He vehemently argued that the high court has lost sight of these limitations of its jurisdiction and on the basis of its own appraisal of the evidence taken a view that the respondent number 1 was a juvenile on the date of the commission of the offence and has set aside the order of the trial court. Stop.